In this problem, we're told a car accelerates from 10 meters per second to 30 meters per second at a rate of 3 meters per second squared. How far does the car travel while accelerating? And we're given a bunch of distances, right? So how do we solve this problem? The first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on, right? So we have this car, right? And we know in the beginning, the car is going to travel at 10 meters per second. So the initial velocity of the car, or v sub 0, is 10 meters per second, right? We know then it's going to travel some distance, right? And then at the end of its interval, right, it's going to go from 10 all the way to 30. So the velocity here is going to be 30 meters per second. And we know the rate it's going to do this, it's a, the acceleration, is 3 meters per second squared. And so what we're trying to do is find how far the car travels uh, during this time, right? So we're basically going to be solving for delta x, right? So delta x is basically how far it travels or the change in its position. So what we want to do is solve for delta x, right? And so notice what we're given here. We're given three kinematic uh, variables, right? So what we're going to do is use the kinematic equations to solve. Right, so if you look on the right, these are called kinematic equations. And basically what we do is we just plug in variables that they give us, and we can solve for uh, the variable that we want to find. Right, So we're trying to find delta x, which is basically the distance something travels. So if you look at our equations here, uh, we can solve for delta x. Uh, the first equation doesn't have it, so we're not going to use that one. But if you look at the remaining three, we have v sub 0, right, the initial velocity. We have v final, and uh, we have a. So if you look at the ones we should use, 2 and 3 all contain t, which is time, and we're not given that. So what we're going to do is use equation 4 which is this one right here. So it's just v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x. And if you look here, we have v, we have a, and we have uh, v sub 0. And the only variable left is delta x, which is how far it's going to travel. And we just have to solve for it by plugging in the variables. So all we got to do is plug in. So we know v is 30. So 30 squared is equal to v sub 0. v sub 0 is the initial velocity, which we know it starts at 10, which is 10 squared plus 2 times a. A is the acceleration. We know it's 3 meters per second uh, squared, and then delta x. So all we got to do is go ahead and solve. So we can minus 10 squared from both sides. So if you go ahead and do 30 squared, 30 squared, and then you minus 10 squared, you're going to get 800. So 800, this cancels, is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 times delta x. And then you can divide by 6. So 800 divided by 6. That's going to give you delta x. And if you do this, you're going to get delta x equals 133.333 and so on meters. So this is about 133 meters. But yeah, so delta x is measured in meters because it's a distance, right? So you're going to get 133 meters. That's going to be how far the car travels during this interval, right? And if you look at our answers, a is 133 meters. But yeah, so 133 meters is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.